Imagine the vast Pacific, where American aircraft carriers have long ruled as floating fortresses. For decades these carrier strike groups projected power with near impunity, but now, a new threat races across the waves, faster than sound, nearly invisible to radar. This is China's YJ-20, a next-generation carrier killer missile. The YJ-20 marks a dramatic shift in the Indo-Pacific's balance of power. Unlike older missiles it combines speed, range, and a hybrid flight path, making it a nightmare for defenders. It's not just a weapon, it's a strategic message, forcing US planners to question if their carriers are still safe. The YJ-20's hybrid design blends cruise and ballistic missile traits, making it hard to track and intercept. In this video, we'll break down what the YJ-20 is, how it works, and why it's changing naval strategy. We'll explore its geopolitical impact and the skepticism surrounding its true capabilities. Is the YJ-20 a revolution in naval warfare or just military hype? The YJ-20 is China's long-range, supersonic anti-ship cruise missile. Its name, Eagle Strike, signals its intent. Unlike older missiles, the YJ-20 is a hybrid. It can be launched from ships or bombers, and it mixes high-altitude cruising with sea-skimming attacks. Traditional anti-ship missiles like the Harpoon are subsonic and easier to intercept. The YJ-20 is believed to reach Mach 3 or 4. Its flight profile is unpredictable. It cruises high to save fuel, then dives low to evade radar in its final approach. This makes interception extremely difficult, defenders have only seconds to react. The YJ-20 isn't just fire and forget, it can receive real-time targeting updates mid-flight via data link. That means it can adjust course to hit moving targets like carriers, guided by satellites, drones, or patrol aircraft. This networked approach makes it far more accurate and lethal than previous Chinese missiles. The YJ-20's combination of speed, range, and adaptability sets it apart from anything the US Navy has faced before. It's a leap forward in missile technology designed to outsmart and outrun existing defenses. The result, a weapon that could change the rules of naval warfare. The carrier killer label isn't just technical, it's a direct challenge to US naval supremacy. Aircraft carriers are the heart of American power projection. Threatening them strikes at the core of US strategy. China's goal is clear. Make US intervention in its near seas too risky to consider. The YJ-20 is central to China's anti-access-slash-area denial, a 2-slash-AD strategy, aiming to keep US forces at bay. If carriers can't operate safely near China, their ability to influence regional events drops dramatically. The mere existence of the YJ-20 forces the US Navy to rethink tactics, operate from farther away, and accept higher risks. Losing a carrier would be a national trauma for the US. The psychological impact is as powerful as the physical threat. The YJ-20 changes everything, deployment patterns, ship design, and even the psychology of naval warfare. It's a weapon designed to win by deterrence, not just destruction. The message to Washington the era of uncontested naval dominance is over. The Indo-Pacific is now a far more dangerous chessboard. The YJ-20's danger lies in its speed, range, and unpredictable flight path. It's believed to travel at Mach 3 or 4, over 3,000 miles per hour, giving defenders only seconds to respond. Its range, possibly up to 500 kilometers, lets it strike from well beyond a carrier group's defensive umbrella. The missile cruises high to conserve fuel, then dives to sea-skimming altitude for its final sprint. This hybrid path hides it from radar until the last moment. In its terminal phase, the YJ-20 likely uses onboard radar or infrared seekers to lock onto its target. It can distinguish a carrier from escorts and may even perform evasive maneuvers to dodge interceptors. The combination of speed, reach, and smart guidance makes it a formidable threat. Defending against such a missile is a race against time and technology. The YJ-20 is engineered to exploit every weakness in current naval defenses. The YJ-20's debut has sent shockwaves through the Indo-Pacific. The US Navy is its primary target, forcing Washington to rethink how it projects power in the region. Allies like Japan and Australia are also on high alert. Investing in missile defenses and deepening security ties with the US for Taiwan, the YJ-20 is an existential threat. Its purpose is to deter or delay American intervention in a crisis. The missile's range puts Japanese and Australian assets at risk, driving a regional arms race. Smaller nations like the Philippines and Vietnam see the YJ-20 as a symbol of China's growing military confidence. Its presence shifts the local balance of power, making smaller navies more vulnerable. 
The YJ-20 isn't just a weapon, it's a tool of geopolitical influence. It forces every nation in the region to reconsider its security strategy. The Indo-Pacific's military landscape is being redrawn in real time. The U.S. and its allies aren't standing still. The Navy is upgrading its Aegis combat system and radars to spot and intercept faster, stealthier threats. New interceptor missiles like the Standard Missile 6 are being developed to counter supersonic weapons. Electronic warfare is another key defense. Jammers and decoys aim to confuse or mislead incoming missiles. The U.S. is also shifting strategy. Instead of relying on a few big carriers, it's moving toward distributed maritime operations. This means spreading combat power across more, smaller, and even unmanned ships, making it harder for any single missile to be decisive. Offensively, the U.S. is fielding its own long-range anti-ship missiles to threaten Chinese warships in return. The goal create mutual deterrence where both sides know the cost of conflict is unacceptably high. The arms race is now about technology, tactics, and survivability. The YJ-20 has forced a fundamental rethink of naval warfare. Every new weapon triggers a new countermeasure, and the cycle continues. The future of sea power is more uncertain than ever. Despite the hype, the YJ-20's real-world effectiveness is unproven. The biggest challenge is the kill chain. Detecting, tracking, and hitting a moving carrier group in the vast Pacific is incredibly hard. China's surveillance network is growing but the U.S. uses electronic warfare, decoys, and stealth to stay hidden. Without real-time targeting data, the YJ-20 is just a very expensive guess. Even if it finds its target, it must survive layers of U.S. defenses, interceptors, jammers, and close-in weapons. To guarantee a hit, China would need to launch a massive, coordinated missile salvo, complex and costly. There's also the question of propaganda. China benefits from making the YJ-20 seem unstoppable even if its true capabilities are unknown. The missile has never been tested in real combat. Until it is, skepticism is warranted. The YJ-20's greatest power may be psychological, not technical. Its reputation alone changes how navies plan and act. The YJ-20 is a real technological leap, but its reputation may outpace its reality. It's a credible threat, forcing the U.S. and allies to invest billions in countermeasures and rethink strategy. But it's not an invincible wonder weapon. Its success depends on a fragile kill chain and overcoming advanced defenses. China's goal is deterrence. By hyping the YJ-20, it hopes to make U.S. planners hesitate. The missile's psychological impact is as important as its technical specs. This dynamic fuels a security dilemma. U.S. countermeasures prompt China to develop even more advanced weapons, escalating the arms race. The YJ-20 is both a symptom and a driver of the growing U.S.-China rivalry. Its true impact is measured not just in hardware, but in how it changes national behavior. The Indo-Pacific is now locked in a cycle of action and reaction. The YJ-20 is a catalyst for a new era of naval competition. Its legacy may be as much about perception as performance. The real battle is for strategic advantage, not just technological supremacy. Is the YJ-20 a true game-changer? Its full impact is still unfolding. The missile signals China's ambition to challenge the naval order in the Indo-Pacific. It's already forced the U.S. Navy to adapt its technology and tactics. The mere threat of a credible carrier killer has raised the stakes for everyone. But the YJ-20's untested status leaves room for doubt. Its real-world performance remains a mystery. The line between its advertised power and actual capability is blurred by propaganda. The YJ-20 is a formidable threat but not an invincible one. It's a single piece in a much larger strategic contest. The era of uncontested American naval supremacy is over. The seas are now more contested than ever. The world is watching to see how this new chapter in naval warfare will be written.